Hello folks, today is Monday and I hope this footage is going to be uploaded on my YouTube channel tonight or maybe tomorrow. I'm sorry I missed our Sunday rendezvous because of this. Yes, I had to work during the entire weekend. And to make it short, today we're going to talk about how I handle and shoot live performances. Intro. Concert photographer. I used to shoot and do photo reports for a lot of festivals, dance uh, festivals, circus festivals. But the reality of the business, my personal projects, has pushed me to stop doing this kind of work. But hey, I'm still approached and hired to do these kind of things these days. So if the project is cool, if it's decently paid, well, I'm in. And this is the case for the Who Got the Flower International Hip Hop Festival. It's my fourth year covering it. I just love going there each year. And you know what? I hope they will hire me again next year. Festival, high level performers, and just positive vibes. What else can you ask for? So, when I started a few years back, I had to make a choice. Should I avoid noise in my images at all costs and sacrifice shutter speed, or the exact opposite, prioritize shutter speed and let some noise happen in my images. When shooting musicians, it's a no-brainer for me. If you have fast lenses going up to f2.8 or even wider, you can see around one one hundredth of a second and never go beyond ISO 800. Of course, depending if you have um, stabilized lenses or IBIS in body image stabilization. Of course, the goal is to keep your ISO as low as possible, but you know, sometimes it can be out of luck and shoot on a stage that is poorly lit. If this ever happens to you, you can try and be creative by lowering your shutter speed and play with motion blur, you know, to incorporate movement in your images. I don't like this. That's my personal taste. So I tend to try and freeze movement as much as possible. When shooting sports, dance and circus, any type of action and movement, whether it's fast or not, it's going to be a challenge. If your goal is to freeze movement, you will have to accept that noise will be part of your image. I usually use continuous autofocus and follow my subjects. And with my Canon DSLRs, I program two to three settings. One for static movement, static movement, static shots and slow movement, sorry. One for group shots and another one for fast action. With a camera like the 5D Mark III and Mark IV, you can memorize up to three settings and of course access them really quickly with the turn of a button, which is great. But for this festival, I used the 1DX Mark II. It's a joy to use. It's made for this type of work. Even today in 2019, the only downside is the weight. I usually use two bodies with 
two classic lenses, the 24-70 millimeter lens and the 70-200 f2.8 L, of course. And with these two combined, I can make almost all the shots I need. For this festival, I was really close to the action, so I mainly used for 90% of the shots the 24 to 70 mil, sometimes the 16 to 35, and for a few shots the 14 mil prime lens. Prime lenses are great if you really want to keep your ISO as low as possible because most of them open up to f1.8, f1.4, and some of them f1.2. These are also great if you are using entry-level DSLRs. And of course, don't forget to play. Play with your shutter speed, for example, and be a little more creative with um, motion blur, for example. Try and catch more expressions, emotions, and go less after the impressive and spectacular shots. And don't forget that the quality of your pictures will heavily depend on the quality of light you will have on set. So, yeah, you will have from time to time awful surprises, oversaturated colors. Maybe you can try and desaturate them in post or just you know, do black and white. When this happens, do your best. If you can have a chat with the venue or the person in charge of the lights, do, do talk with them and try and negotiate something that can, that can work for both of you. And final tip, if you have the opportunity to move around and make a wide variety of shots, do so, don't be lazy. If you have the occasion, maybe ask and see if you can go backstage. And you know what, sometimes, interesting things happen off stage so always have one eye open and look around you never know i really hope these simple tips will help you for your next gig and if not i'm sorry i hope to see you all in the next but of course until then please have a good one